He has a tour coming up, everyone. Uh, Ooh, hey. 2nd of August it kicks off. Uh, across the UK and across Europe and Ireland and taking in a day at the Cambridge Folk Festival. But how lucky are we to be here in this intimate oh, environment to witness him before all of that. Uh, the last time I saw this great man perform, it was at the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee, just a few months ago. Uh, and here we are at Rough Trade East. I think we would all agree this is like the Ryman of the East End. Yeah. <laughs> or it is tonight, anyway. Uh, I don't know about you, but... Um, I don't need to be in the Mother Church of Music to have a spiritual experience when I listen to John Prime. He takes me to church no matter where I am. Uh, and uh, his new album, The Tree of Forgiveness, as if it wasn't enough that he's been the soundtrack to our lives for, for so long and given us so many songs, he's done one better and uh, has the fastest selling album of his entire career. With the Tree of Forgiveness. Uh, along with his Grammy Awards, he was awarded Artist of the Year at the Americana Music uh, Awards in Nashville last year. And uh, something tells me that might happen again this year as well. Uh, so let's all get ready to go to church. Please welcome to the stage Mr. John Prime. There we go. So, let's find out a little bit about this fantastic album, Mr. Prine. Uh, so you were you were holed up in a hotel, all on your own. I was a prisoner. In a, a I mean, prisoner. Sweet. Nice yeah, sweet. Yeah. Well, you can be a prisoner in worse places. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah. There, a suite at the Omni Hotel. So, uh, you you wrote this in the hotel. Uh, and now we're sharing it. You're sharing it with the entire world. Uh, is that how you write best, just on your own? In a mm -hmm. Well, my, my wife is managing me now, and she knows uh, that I operate better out of hotels than I do out of the house. <laughs> so they put me in, uh, in a hotel for a week and say, we need a record. <laughs> and here I am. Well, I guess that worked out all right then, didn't I, it? I guess so. I didn't get worried for the last 24 hours. You know? uh, <laughs> Do you work best with a deadline like that? Are you kind of like... I guess I do, I mean, I don't like to admit it, you know. I don't like deadlines, so... Because they put one on me, and I came up with a good... Well, you got no deadline tonight. You take as long as you want here this evening. All right. Uh, and, uh, you know, you, you have not only been embraced, but you embrace kind of new musicians and people coming up uh, through the music industry, and you collaborate well with others. Uh, is that something that comes from you being embraced by a generation above you when you were starting out as a mailman when you were singing? Well, uh, I mean, I had an awful lot of help from uh, Chris Gustavus. You know, Chris, uh, I mean, I was still working at the post office and singing at night when Chris first heard me. And about three months later, I had a record contract. It was that quick. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it didn't happen that way for other people. <laughs> I, was, I was in New York City for 24 hours and I had a record contract. And I went back to Chicago and me and Steve Gutman both got them in 24 hours. And, and back in Chicago they treated us like returning astronauts or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when you made this album you, you said a lot that this is probably going to be your last album unless it goes pretty well. Uh, Mr. Prine, I think it's going pretty well. well it's uh, going really well. I, I hope we have much more from you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of the way. Mr. John Prine. Thank you. 